with only 10 more days until the release, it is time to talk in detail about the classes. Ladies and gentlemen, slowly but surely we're getting more and more information. And luckily, you guys have your host, Fable One as usual, to get all that information on one spot. So in this channel, you will find all the information about Planetside Arena, Planetside 2, and sometimes even Planetside 1 if necessary. To make sure you miss no single video, do not forget to press that big red subscribe button down below. And other than that guys, it is time today to talk in detail about the Assault. The Planetside Arena team just started doing a new series called The Class Spotlights and like I mentioned, they're doing the Assault right now. And what they say is, choose your class and build the ultimate soldier. Apparently, Arax is a dangerous planet, and in the aftermath of the Great War that leveled entire continents, you will need to be more careful than ever before with your decision, before entering combat. So, apparently, making your choice for D-Class is very important. Planetside has always prided itself by offering deep class-based gameplay options, and Planetside Arena is no exception. However, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that classes were so important in Planetside 1. But anyway. Launching initially with three character classes, the Assault, the Medic and the Engineer, Planetside Arena offers you the ability to change up your playstyle, experiment with different team dynamics and upgrade your character, both in and out of matches to build the Ultimate Soldier. As I mentioned before, the Assault class is the main focus today, and like all the other classes, the Assault comes equipped with a primary ability that can be activated by hitting the F key, and in this case, is the Escape Jet. The escape jet actually launches your character at an accelerated speed in whichever direction you're facing. So if you have ever played Planetside 2, it is very close and similar to the Ambuser jump jets. This versatile movement ability offers many advantages in close quarter combat, while also providing the option to quickly dash from danger. So that's also why I think it's called the escape jet. The escape jet is the assault primary ability, but wait, there is more. The assaults also have their own primary utility or tool, which is called the Flash Totem. The Flash Totem can be placed as a hidden beacon, which only activates when an enemy player draws near. When activated, the Flash Totem deploys a blinding light which will disorient enemies within the area of effect. If I understand this correctly, it's like a flashbang claim or a flashbang trap. Kinda cool mechanic, I have to see the next action though. They finish their story about the Flash Totem by saying it can be used tactically to retreat, but you can also just rush into an ongoing squad and actually just go crazy over there. I do certainly think it has some offensive capabilities, especially in combination with the escape jet, because you can just go in, go crazy and maybe have a lot of kills, especially if you're able to flash the whole squad. Anyways, I'm curious about the effect, because in many games it differs how the flashbang works. For example, in Planetside 2 you also have concussion aids, and I think there's also a flashbang or something alike, but it doesn't really change gameplay much more than just not seeing much for like a second. In PUBG though, for example, you're not able to ADS while being flashbanged, so I'm curious how this will work. There are more things special about the assaults. Alongside with its unique ability and utility, the assault is the only class which has access to the carbines. I'm a bit surprised that the engineers don't have access to the carbines, because in Planetside 2, both the Light Assaults and the engineers have carbines, but hey, Planetside Arena is a different game. Furthermore, the Assault can also add a unique weapon and battle suit mods, which amplify the speed and utilities. You can only select these mods outside of a match, so not during a match, so it's really a thing you have to think about before you even start a game. How the mods will exactly work, I have no clue yet, but I think in the future that will become clear. So when that happens, you can expect of course a new video over here. As for the other classes, the Assault can find upgrades to their primary ability and utility within each match. Level up your character so you prepare to inflict maximum carnage by the time the pain field finishes closing in on your squad. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the first class spotlight posted by Dayray Games. And I do think they're gonna add more in the future, so of course stay tuned for that over here as well. But also I'm kind of curious, this is clearly actually some sort of light assault, especially with the escape jet, especially with the access to carbines, so that's pretty interesting to talk about. Also, because previously in the earlier builds, there was no flash totem, no they had something else, they had a pain totem or something else that actually could attack enemy players. So instead of having a really offensive totem, this time they went for some sort of utility that only flashes people. That also makes me curious if the other two classes also changed abilities or utilities. So far though, I do think it's a good addition. 
That is everything we know right now about the Assault. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the utilities, the abilities, or just in general, what do you think about the Assault? Let me know. But that's me, that's Fable1, and we'll see you soon with some more content.